Welcome to the Ascendo Traders Group. This is our video trade plan for Tuesday, April 18, 2008. AscendoTraders.com, effective trade plans delivered daily. And by now, you guys know what we do each day as our routine of preparing for our next day, preparing our trade plan for tomorrow. There it is. Today on the market, what can we say? Wachovia, 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 Wachovia. Just took the market down and uh, took no prisoners. Um, and it was interesting because they expected 40 cents positive and they actually came in at negative 17 cents. So they really miss earnings, sort of like the GE earnings on Friday. And you can see the retail sale numbers are actually top estimates, but that's because the gasoline prices r r rose so much, they were actually flat. Seven out of ten major sectors finished in negative ter territory. Energy was one of the sectors that did well. There was a lot of talk in uh, Ecuador wanting to take over their oil companies. Um, the Dow was down 23 points. The S&P 500 was down 4 points. And the NASDAQ was down 14 points. On the earning calendar, uh, we've already said it. Um, today's was basically all about Wachovia Bank. And on the upgrades, we had uh, Bank of America, uh, Pot. We know how much we love Pot. <laughs> and we had WLT was upgraded. Um, and on a downgrade, we have GE, obviously, off of the earnings GE posted on Friday. Tomorrow, we've got um, PPI and Core PI, so some of the data, the inflation data, uh, starting to come in. So that will certainly have a, a tone on the market, have an effect on the market. New York Empire State, not that, not that much. Really, it's going to be the PPI numbers. Tomorrow, we have Johnson & Johnson and USB before the market. And the reason why that's important, especially with USB, is with Wachovia doing so bad, you know, they're going to look at USB today and wa um, Washington Mutual after the market today. We're also going to look at uh, J.P. Morgan, which comes out on uh, Wednesday. So we'll see what happens there. And there's our buddy, CLS Split, still doing nice. Had a great day today. Okay, uh, obviously, take a quick look, and you can see we um, unflagged some stocks, mainly um, oil stocks because they had a big day and broker stocks because they moved five days down. Um, Amazon giving us a falling three pattern you can see that it bounced here with a gap up so uh, conservative alert now is to be at $71 and aggressive alert at the uh, falling three uh, confirmation APA had a great day today um, nice bounce this our alert uh, it's moving nicely put your alert at 137 the next alert BTU kinda hanging out still Still showing some weakness. If it can close above 62.50, that's where you want to go. So raise your alert to today's high. Cat bounced at the 50. We kind of expected that. We needed a retracement day. Um, let's keep our alert below the 50 and see what happens at 74. Um, CNX starting to show some weakness here. Um, we got a huge bracket trade we're going to do in this one. Below the 20 to fall down to the 50. And we're going to keep our bullish alert at $72. So bearish below the 20, bullish above the uh, 72. CF, very nice, very nice indeed. Um, certainly looks like it needs to go over to the side a little bit four days up. Needs to be needs to consolidate, but I'm going to keep it flagged because it's something that you need to look at, but it's not a safe entry for tomorrow. Very aggressive to get in tomorrow. Um, CLF, our two for one split play, has just been great, hasn't it? Just been great. So we, we've got our interest today. Um, raise your alert to today's high as this continues to just motor, just motoring. Um, CVX, this is the oil play that we I am keeping because you can see it's still within our rectangle and possibly breaking out tomorrow. So reset your alert for about eighty nine fifty. You can see here's Dio, great day. Um, but it's moved too much. Goldman Sachs, great pattern that we've we've been trading. We started up here, but four days down like that, sitting at support, it could go either way. Needs to retrace. Although I'll be watching below 162 if it breaks down in here and breaks uh, the March lows there. Um, LVS did give us our entry. We talked about a quick play from. 75 down to about 72 73 so i would reset my alert if you're not in for 72.50 mbt 
also sitting right at this support level. So let's keep our alert there, see if we can push down. Again, we have a quick trade there because it tends to bounce. MOS, just another beast. Great day on, on a... This is very bullish to be like this on a down day. So because of that, we'll just keep raising our alerts. MRO, um, it could go either way. We talked about a bracket trade on this one, and it did get above the five. Unflag it because it can go either way. Morgan Stanley, just like um, uh, Goldman Sachs, it's gone down a lot, so it needs to retrace. MTL. MTL, uh, we want to see this one relive. Um, it finally broke out above 142, and now here it comes back down. So it's either going to bounce, or we have a failed new high, and it's probably going to come down. So, But let's keep our alert up here at 151.52. Pot, just another beast, another beast. Um, this doji, a little concerned about the doji, because originally it was up here. Uh, and um, and then at the end of the day, brought it back down into a doji. So that that could be a, a sign that the uh, the the run is over and it and it needs to consolidate. So because of that, pot something that you should be watching. But I'm going to unflag it. Rig, great day, great day. But again, too good of a day, so I unflagged it. USO, another one, modified rising three pattern. Um, Change your alert to ninety dollars. Let's keep that one flag ninety dollars. And finally, X, X is give, kind of holding on, bouncing at the ten. Let's keep our alert for about one forty six fifty. So now we're okay. <laughs> so now we're ready to look at our educational portion of our podcast. And as you guys know, we're talking about the shift to mental analysis through the book Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. And on our weekend wrapper report, we talked about more about how the best traders think, more about how they become consistent. And what we focused on yesterday was about risk and whether or not, as a trader, do we accept the risk. Um, we said there is one thing about understanding how to read the charts and another thing to actually enact upon what you read on the chart, p placing a trade. There's also another thing, uh, another analogy would be there's one thing to put on a trade and it's another thing to accept that risk of the trade. Um, you could be wrong. You could be right. If you accept that risk and if you have the right mindset, when things go your way, great. When things don't go your way, Okay, and you make adjustments. Um, down at the bottom, it says the best traders can put on a trade without the slightest bit of hesitation or conflict and just as freely and without hesitation or conflict admit it isn't working. They can get out of the trade, even with a loss or without emotional discomfort. How many times have you been in a trade and it started to go against you and it became you versus the market, you versus the stock? I'm going to hold on because this stock's going to turn around. All the indicators say it's going down, or all the indicators say it's going up. All the indicators are saying it's going the opposite direction that you thought it was going to go. But instead of just easily getting out of the trade, cutting your losses short, you let the losses go long and wipe out your account or put a big dent in your account. The best traders get in and out of trades without hesitation, without conflict, and without emotional pain. Being wrong is just... And a, a an act of what happened. It's just a, uh, an effect, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you know your world is going to come cr uh, crashing in. So again, as we continue to talk about risk and we talk about the mental side about trading, it's important to understand that you have to first accept the fact that you have to act upon what you see, and then secondly, you have to take responsibility about the risk that when I place this trade, it can go either way. And I can do that freely knowing that I might be right, I might be wrong, the system will work for me, and whichever happens, happens. So there we go. Download the full version, provide feedback, and as always, trade your own risk. I'll talk to you tomorrow.